and I ended up doing an adjustment on her and she turned to me after the adjustment and said, would you marry me? Hey everyone, Dr. Frank Margella here, and I wanted to introduce myself to you today and also let you know about the new YouTube channel I'm starting called Frank About Health. It's something I'm passionate about. I wanted to start this channel so you could really get to know me and more than just me being a doctor at my practice, but also just get to know me at being at home with my family and, and friends and just some things that I'm interested in. Um, I wanted just you to know who I am and what I'm about. Um, originally, I'm from New York. I grew up in Long Island, Massapequa, New York, and I live now uh, just south of Nashville in, in Tennessee. And I've been here since 2007, right after I graduated school. And I've been in practice for 14 years. Um, my practice is currently in Franklin, Tennessee, just south of Nashville. And I love being a chiropractor. It's something I'm passionate about since I was a teenager. I started going to the chiropractor. I had a great experience. I had some back problems playing football and it really led me down the path of health and I wanted to have my own business and I really was interested in health. So it just made sense to go into the chiropractic profession. And I really had a great experience. Um, not only did I get my back pain better, but I also really saw some, some added benefit about chiropractic itself. What I found was I started having less problems with sleep. I had more energy, I had better digestion. My immune system was better. I laughed because when I was a teenager, I barely missed school anymore after I started going to the chiropractor. And I remember my little sister would find a way to be off of school here and there. And I just didn't have any excuses because I really wasn't sick. So I couldn't get off of school. So I ended up going to school and really the last two or three years of, of high school, I didn't really miss any days um, because I just really didn't get sick. So that was one of the other things. And as far as football and sports went, I definitely felt a huge difference after getting adjusted, my back really wasn't a problem anymore. My knees felt better, my shoulders, my neck, everything. And I had a really good ending to high school with, with us. We won the county championship and uh, had a great time playing football and had a great time with my friends and everything. And then fast forward, I went to college at Gettysburg in Pennsylvania, Gettysburg College, did my undergrad there and then went off to Iowa for Palmer College of Chiropractic in Iowa and got my doctorate degree there and then moved to Nashville right after that. So I kind of showed up to Nashville not knowing anybody. Um, I just put my stuff in the car. I had no furniture, no, no nothing. I had some clothes and, and a TV and, and really just a few possessions. Just drove down to Nashville, uh, found an apartment and just kind of started there from scratch. And here I am today, married to my beautiful wife, Jama. I have two beautiful kids, Everly and Gianna. And grow my practice. Um, I've moved it a couple times and I'm in Franklin now. So it's been going really well and I really like what I do. And I really hope you enjoy this channel. Um, a little bit more about me. I love old movies like from the 80s and 90s, uh, like Back to the Future and Karate Kid and The Terminator. Um, I love that new series Cobra Kai. And I've even done some stuff in my Cobra Kai costume at the office and, and on my podcast. Um, my podcast is called Sporting Good Posture. It's on iTunes and Spotify, and you can hear a lot of different things about health, and I've interviewed a lot of people on there. Um, but I really enjoy just having fun, playing sports, watching sports, working out. Um, I love fantasy football, fantasy baseball. I've, I've been playing that for about 20 years now. And I also love playing poker, have, have a monthly game with my friends. And um, just wanna let you know a little bit about me and get, get about my life and everything. So uh, I started this channel just to really do that. So hope you enjoy it. And over the next months and weeks, I'll be putting out a lot of content on different things about my life and about my practice. So I really hope you enjoy that. And uh, I'll see you soon. Hey guys, just wanted to share a couple of things I've been doing recently with my family and my practice. My youngest daughter, Everly, just turned seven and we just had a birthday party for her. We actually had a company called Animal Tales come out and bring little zoo animals 
and everybody got to pet them and feed them and everybody had a great time with that. It's definitely a party I wish that I was having as a kid and I'll show you some clips of that. And then I'm also headed over to the office right now. On Tuesdays is typically my day off. I had a patient that contacted me and her daughter was really hurting badly. She does gymnastics and she had a rib injury that she got and she was hurting pretty bad and wasn't able to practice and was kind of concerned because she wasn't able to breathe. So we're actually gonna be doing some adjustments on her. So my daughter, my other daughter, Gianna has volleyball and while she's doing volleyball practice, I'm gonna run over to the office and adjust this patient here so that she can get some relief and not have to have so much pain through the night again like she did last night. But I just wanted to bring you a little behind the scenes of what we're doing at the office so you can kind of see that. So just wanted to intro this for you and hope you enjoy it. All the other snakes don't eat other snakes. This one can eat venomous snakes. He can eat a rattlesnake. That's kind of cool, <laughs> right? So he's not venomous, but yet he can eat a rattlesnake. Oh, hold on. That's super cool, right? <laughs> now, since it's your birthday, this is the one chance your mom and dad get to have this snake necklace. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put Elvis over you just like that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. You guys have hairs growing on your arms, on your head, on your legs. Every hair on your body comes out of something called a follicle. You have one hair per follicle, so everywhere that you have follicles on your body, you have one hair growing out. Frosty has 60 hairs growing out of every follicle. His head is big and stiff. Yeah, this is a, this is a full grown chinchilla. They live, they can be overweight, but not much bigger. They live in the Andes Mountains where it's really, really cold. Well, all animals have a mouth and they use their mouth when they feel good. We're going to. Let's let everybody look and then we're going to touch it. Okay, what do you think he's going to feel like? Pokey. Pokey, are you ready? Like Do the same two finger thing. Not too bad, is it? I'm scared. I'm scared. I won't let him chew. Do you think he can? Do you think he could chew his balls? Oh, yeah. It's not bad. Oh. Make sure y'all have Everly's got this banana. She's gonna really want the banana, so she's gotta warm up. He's strong, Everly. Hold on to the banana. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Now we're not gonna pet Sadie because she's kind of sensitive with her germs, but we can look at her really close and watch her eat her banana. Alright, so she loves bananas. She does a really important job. Her job is that she's a pollinator. <laughs> All in the marsupial or macropod family. Birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so we're about to take off and take my daughter to volleyball practice. And then we'll see Elise. She's the girl that's been hurting. Uh, her mom had called and said that she hurt her ribs during practice for gymnastics so I wanted to get over there take care of her so she can get back on the mat as soon as possible and I'm going to take you on that ride so I'm about to head out so just follow me on out. about like a pinched nerve did you think it was was it going on your leg or anything 
Um, it's more just like down the back and like my hands. Okay. So I'm gonna stretch, so I'm gonna pull this up on the stretch so you can So did it happen um, at school or? No, it happened at three at practice. Right, was there. For what practice? Genesis. Turn on your right side of the camera. Oh, this one's Will you do on a certain move? No, I don't. It's just sort of hard. Okay. Is it tight when I'm doing that? Okay. I can tell it's a lot tighter than you know. Does it hurt like in a specific spot on the front? Like pinpoint anywhere or just no, in general? It's just, like, it's just like down the back. Like it starts up and then it's just like hurt all the way down that side. This will help with the neck. <laughs> and then anything going on with the knees or the feet or anything? Uh, no, no. We're going to get you back in tomorrow. This will, this will help release some of it. And then you'll be able to knock this in the next couple of days. So like all mm -hmm. year. All right, so I'm gonna use this one right too. I'm gonna brace up some of these spasms. Is it like under the shoulder blade also? Yeah. yeah. So I want you to do a combo of ice and heat tonight on this area. Okay. Um, this way it'll, it'll loosen up those muscles. Right and then when you, when you do the ice, do the ice first and then do the heat after that, about 20 minutes of each. Okay. And that'll really help loosen some of those up. And then after a day or two, we'll just use heat on it. Okay. Alright. Nice that? Day. A little bit better? Yeah. Good. Hey guys, just got done seeing Elise and hopefully get her some relief and feeling better for the next couple of days. I'll probably see her back on Wednesday and Thursday at the office, working on her and her family. They've been patients for, for a number of years now. Um, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I really enjoy because I get a chance to really go and help people. You know, I'm glad I'm able to do that and it worked out well. I was in the area, but you know, I really care about my patients. It's something I've done now for, man, it's been 14 years that I've been in practice. I got my license in 2007. I graduated 2006 from Palmer College of Chiropractic in Iowa. And I just really love what I do. It's been a passion of mine since I was a kid. I got into chiropractic because I started going as a, as a teenager when I get some back injuries playing football. And I love working with athletes. It's a passion of mine. And I really hope that I can reach more athletes in the area and help them out too. Um, speaking of 
doing something for many years. I wanted to talk about my wedding anniversary is coming up and I wanted to give you a little inside info on that. Um, it'll be 12 years with my wife. We got married in 2009. So just a couple of years after I moved to Nashville, uh, we got married and we've been together since then, since really 2007 when I first moved here and got married in 2009 and we're celebrating our 12th wedding anniversary and we're gonna be going to downtown Franklin, staying at the Heritage Hotel and staying overnight, having a night free of the kids. And um, I'll bring you some pics and, and things of that. But funny story about meeting my wife, I actually met her playing kickball, <laughs> of all things. So I met her playing kickball in a league, like a Nashville sports league. I went, I was out at a bar and I had just moved to Nashville and I didn't really know anybody and I wanted to do something to meet people. So I saw these people come into this bar and they were all dressed up like in uniform. So I thought maybe it was flag football. When I started talking to them, it was actually kickball. So I asked them, hey, can I play on your team? I've played kickball and, and I'm, I'm a good athlete. I love playing sports. So I wanted to, to learn how to play. Uh, I mean, meet them and meet some new people and, and play with them. So they said, yeah. And the game was the following Wednesday. And I think they were a little drunk because I showed up and they didn't really remember who I was. And anyway, I went out there and I started playing with them and I ended up playing for the next two or three years on that team. And I ended up meeting my wife. She would come down there with her sister and watch the games and just hang out and have a good time. So we ended up meeting her uh, down there and, and and things just kind of fell into place. We started dating and uh, it's funny, we were at a party when I first met her and I had just told everybody I was a chiropractor. So I was doing some adjustments on people at, at the party and I ended up doing an adjustment on her and she turned to me after the adjustment and, and said, would you marry me? Honey, will you just marry me already? Yeah, okay. So it was kind of set that that was probably the way it was gonna go, but it was just funny how I met her and gave her an adjustment and she was she was loving that and the first time she'd ever had a chiropractic adjustment and everything kind of fell into place and 12 years later, here we are. We live in a great house, in a great neighborhood. I got two beautiful kids and a great practice. So I really enjoy what I do and, and I, things just kind of worked out. I had moved down to Nashville, not really known anybody and I was able to build up my practice really from nothing and I didn't know any friends here I didn't have any family here I just kind of found a way to make friends and, and meet people and just get everything going and things kind of worked out and you know 14 years later I'm still here and growing you know practice is growing and I'm able to do a lot more things with my friends and my family so really just a cool experience so just some things I wanted to share with you and I look forward to sharing more videos with you over the coming months and weeks. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I love making it for you. This is our first episode of Frank About Health. If you liked it, please smash that subscribe button below. Turn on notifications so you're the first to know when the new episodes come out. Also, if you can, comment below and let me know about your favorite childhood birthday party. Also, how you met your spouse. You know, I met my spouse at a kickball game. You never know when that's going to happen. You never know how you're going to meet your spouse. Also, if you can follow me on Instagram at Sporting Good Posture. Also, subscribe to my podcast at Sporting Good Posture. It's on iTunes and Spotify, all the major networks for it. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you on the flip side.